Welcome to another episode of Back to Busted. I'm your host, Rob McCallum, a.k.a. Rob McZob on Twitter. And remember, if you want me to highlight your project or you need some help setting up your project to be truly amazing, hit me up at crowdfundingspectacular99 at gmail.com, on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash crowdfunding, or on Twitter at Rob McZob. Today, we are going to look at a Kickstarter project that is a little bit interesting. It's called The Commodore Story, and it's for a Blu-ray, DVD, and nostalgic top trump card. So let's head over to Kickstarter right now and see what this is all about. So here we are on Kickstarter, and most of the projects that I do on Backed or Busted, I just jump to the campaign and look at everything fresh, never really scouting things out. Uh, and we go through them moment by moment and section by section to really see uh, what makes them work and what doesn't make them work. This one was a bit of an exception. This one was pointed out to me by one of our uh, viewers. I said, you know, why don't you take a look at this one and see what your thoughts are? And I got to say, I looked at it and then it was something was strange about it. It was strange because it seemed very familiar. And that's because it was the second campaign for the same thing. But this is more just for a pre-order. As you can see, it says the Commodore story of the PET Vic 20 C64 C126 and Amiga pre-order on Blu-ray DVD Plus, get retro nostalgic Commodore top trump card. So this is a pre-order for the documentary, I believe. And that's basically uh, what I was able to discover once I went through the campaign very, very briefly. I haven't read anything in depth. I just tried to make a little bit more sense of it. Now, I did find some links, and we're going to dig a little maybe a bit deeper on this one just to truly vet what is going on here. So as always, let's take a look at the video. You can see here this is not a project that Kickstarter has decided that they loved. It's not one of their staff picks. Um, and for whatever reason, that's just the case. Now, if you look over here, they were looking for 3,000 British sterling pounds or at 2,400. So that's about 80% or so, if my math is right. Uh, in American dollars, it's 3,500 of 42.54. Let's take a look at the video uh, for the Commodore story uh, in this iteration, at least. 500 plus people here in Germany. actually went on to become the first million seller home computer. Because that was a billion dollar company. A lot of things that were going wrong at the, all at the same time. You've sort of gotten along thinking that every problem is solved by technology and it's certainly not. I was burnt. I was just fried. I had used a lot of me up in a very short period of time. The jack attack. If he thought you were giving him nonsense, he would let you know. <laughs> I had thought about cutting my hair before that because I had long hair at the time. It's like, you know, I think I'm just going to go down and see if they accept me as I am. And they did. We were able to create a machine that was low cost, so very powerful, took the industry by storm for the longest time was the video editing platform of the world. It speaks of childhood, but it speaks of something more. It speaks of a kind of uplifting, joyous celebration. Safety is warmth, and above all, it's fun. You've invented something that changed my life. Let's get rid of these Macintoshes and these PCs and, and iPads and all that. Let's go back to the roots of Amiga. And they can look back and say, oh, I had one of those or I wanted something like that. Fat graphics. Yes. I'm hopeful that the work we're doing and the work the community is doing as a whole will ensure the future of the Amiga. Now, 35 years later, I want to take you on a journey back to the birth of the own computer by following the Commodore story, discovering the origins and what led up to the Commodore 64 being the best ever selling computer in history. So there we have the trailer for the Commodore story, and you can tell that a lot of footage has been shot there, uh, shot there rather, and they've been able to compile something that's probably a little bit more uh, complete than their first campaign when they, were, I think, they were just looking for funding on that one. Uh, let's just step through it as as we always do. Turn down the volume a bit and see what we can learn. So we have the big questions, the big broad statements, studio logos. What we don't have here is uh, a pitch for the reason for the campaign to exist. It is really just the trailer. There's some nice graphic work. Uh, it asks the important question and it really sets the stage well for the hook for wanting uh, to get people excited about this. It was a, you know, a, a mil it sold a million units. You know, so what happened to it? Why did it just suddenly disappear? 
There's not a lot for me to comment on uh, in terms of the effectiveness of, of the trailer in the scope of Kickstarter. As a filmmaker, I have other thoughts, but this is not what it's about. Does this trailer do the job of getting me interested in wanting to check um, this this film out? So they have a sale to Netflix, it looks like. It's going to be on Amazon Prime Video, and it's going to be available on iTunes in 2018. So right away, you know it's going to be on Netflix. I don't know that that's a huge selling point if I have a Netflix subscription to want to pre-order it on Blu-ray and DVD. So there better be some interesting uh, extras there that really get me excited because I'm so far only lukewarm on wanting to see the story because I do like uh, the computer industry and I have an interest in tech technological history, I suppose. I do like video games uh, and the evolution of that stuff. Some of these interviews aren't shot particularly well. It, again, as a filmmaker, I have issues with this. As a, as a marketing tool... I would like to know more about why this needs to be on Kickstarter and to really get me excited with a flashy piece, not not just the trailer just kind of slapped up there from the film. I get that they're basically just trying to do a pre-order, like kind of a last minute run for everybody that may have missed it before it goes onto these platforms. So let's see what else we can learn from their campaign as we go through here. So now due to popular demand, we are bringing you two new rewards. The Commodore story is a, is a cram-packed a uh, two-hour documentary film that takes us through Commodore's evolution from the 70s to the 90s uh, through all these different models and beyond. After a successful campaign that they funded on April 20th last year, we have been busy creating the Commodore Story documentary, interviewing a fantastic list of contributors. Here is a bunch of them. The Commodore Story documentary is now finished, uh, and we are currently completing the sister documentary, The Chiptune Story, and the book will be releasing the 23rd of February 2018. So... Again, Passive Voice, uh, Commodore Story is now finished. We have finished, or uh, we finished uh, the documentary. Again, just re rework this. And now they're talking about, they're doing the sister documentary, the Chiptune Story. So I'm confused why that's being mentioned here. Shouldn't we just talk about this one thing? Uh, don't tell us you're doing something else when you're still trying to push this, this specific one. Uh, here's the original campaign video. So we can talk about that in a second. Here is the campaign page. You know what, let's just jump over to that right now. Uh, it says you can pre-order it here. They raise 48,000 pounds, which is, you know, a pretty good chunk of money. Uh, they had 1,230 backers. You got some nice product shots on this original page. Let's go back to the, the one we're looking at. Uh, and then we'll dissect that a little bit as we compare maybe the rewards between the two. So new rewards, DVD release. Uh, the Commodore story on DVD, I guess. Bonus DVD included. The, the bonus chiptune stories included with interviews with many top game composers. So they're basically adding like a second disc by the sounds of it uh, if you order it now instead of before. Okay, so be it. Uh, and top trump cards as seen in the documentary. I haven't seen it, but I'm guessing it's these retro cards here. Talk a card, talk a card, any card, maybe take a card, any card. Not sure about that one. Commodore top trump cards. I have no idea what that is. With a name like Trump in there, uh, regardless of your political affiliation, I don't know that I'd be putting that in any kind of campaign right now uh, in case it's inferred as the wrong thing and you really upset people that aren't Trump supporters. I wouldn't want to potentially alienate anyone. Um, so there you go. Hey, But hey, it may really enthuse people that are Trump supporters. So you might get a few extra bucks out of them if they think it's you know different. So here we go, <clears throat> the Blu-ray version of the documentaries. You get the Commodore story and the Chiptune story. They also have this hardback. Uh, Vesion will be shipped. I think it's supposed to be version, so there's a lot of typos already, which makes me think it's a little sloppy. Big thank you to all the backers we had so far. Without you, this project may have not happened. We hope you continue to enjoy the retro ride, Steve, and the Wavem Studios team. The Risks and Reward, it's an established production studio that's listed on IMDb, which isn't really a lot. Uh, to say a lot because anybody can kind of get listed there. And we have successfully funded and produced Kickstarter projects in the past, including a feature film now playing on Amazon Prime Video, Devoid. We'll be doing full production, editing, soundtrack, and sound mastering. So that's good. So they're not really saying that there is any risks and rewards at all. They're just touting their established studio. So let's take a look at these rewards here. Pledge $10 or £10, which is about 14 bucks. You get one pack of Trump cards. Okay, sure whatever uh 21 bucks uh, again there's no dollar pledge i'm always a big fan of having the one dollar pledge uh for 21 dollars, you get a digital download digital download films and ebooks so you get a digital download of the commodore story and the chiptune story pdf download of the commodore story book 
Okay, I'm always wary of, of campaigns that try to do too many things in, in the world of media, and I'm guilty of that as well. So for my campaign, Nintendo Quest, and maybe I'll, I'll break that down as a future kind of flip around the switch to show what I did well and what I didn't do well. Um, not only did I raise money for uh, printing, much like this campaign of the DVD and Blu-ray of the film for people that maybe had missed out on it, but I also uh, hit a stretch goal to make a video game that took forever and is still taking forever for us to complete and really get out there. So when I see that people are trying to do one movie, now two movies, and a book to back it together, it feels like a lot. Uh, estimated delivery is March 2018. So what I like about that is it's really short because we're uh, recording this in uh, the end of January. So that's only a couple months away. So that's that's really good. Uh, pledge 22 pounds or more DVD and digital download films and ebook. So what is the difference here? So the, okay, you just get the DVD. So for an extra six bucks plus shipping, you get uh, basically a DVD plus. Uh, the download of the film. So you get a DVD disc of the Commodore story film, including the behind the scenes and extra footage, plus the chiptune story disc, digital download of both, uh, and the PDF. So this is actually an okay price because you are getting two documentaries. I don't know what the quality of this stuff is. For me, when it comes to documentary filmmaking, it's getting the content is first and, more, uh, first and foremost the most important thing. Content is king. Make sure you get it and that that's that's what you need first and foremost. Make sure you get it and then worry about the best way to capture that kind of second. So for 22 pounds, about 31 bucks, it's a good deal. What you really have to be careful on Kickstarter though because the different currencies that are shown here. So this is actually what I'm paying, but when I first looked at this, I'm like, okay, 22 bucks for two uh, DVD discs. That's, that's really good. So the other thing I'm worried about is because this is in British sterling pounds, we're gonna be shipping from probably the UK and if I just quickly select this reward, it's it's five extra pounds. So it's 38 bucks, so $40 almost for, for two of those. So I'm not convinced that that's the best one yet. Uh, 25 bucks here, or 25 pounds, $35, you get three top trump cards, okay. Blu-ray and all digital downloads for $35, which, you know, it's, it's as if the shipping amount is like the same, yeah, it's a, so we're talking a four dollar difference, and I'd get it on Blu-ray versus DVD. That's interesting. I think maybe a missed opportunity there. DVD hardback book and all downloads for thirty-seven. Uh, five packs top trump cards. I'm not sure what these are. Like, there's there's nothing explained in this story other than seeing the images of what this is and why I should care or why I would need five packs of them. Uh, Blu-ray hardback book and all downloads. So this is basically adding on a bunch of the variations and then trump cards, Blu-ray book downloads, 48 uh, pounds, 66. So let's count these rewards. I feel like there's too many already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's a, it's definitely on the high side. I would uh, probably get rid of ones that are just the trump card one, except for the, the single pack. So get rid of this one and the, the the five pack and get rid of the three pack and just have it as an add-on or, or direct people to their site to figure it out you take those away you're down to eight you get a dollar one back here maybe people would just support it i get that this is like kind of a second run thing it's not as crucial you're only trying to raise uh forty two hundred dollars i'm not sure why you're trying to raise that because you haven't said that anywhere so i'm not super thrilled about that um, the rewards are okay though they seem sort of affordable if the quality of the films are there there's two films together so uh, that's a good deal because most of the time you charge, you know, 25, 30 bucks for one kind of indie film on, on Kickstarter. So the fact that you get two on Blu-ray for 35 is, you know, a good deal, but it is coming on Netflix. So do I really want to pay for that? I have no idea what the bonus features are or anything. So maybe I'll just wait for Netflix since everybody seems to have, a, have one of those subscriptions. Let's take a look at the updates. Top secret private update backers only. So I want to click on that. I can't find out anything. Let's look at the comments. Love the cards. Thanks for doing the campaign. Hi, Daniel. Yes, we needed to do the uh, we needed to do the campaign due to many people asking for the cards we created for the Commodore Story documentary. Cheers. Uh, do we get the screener download if we back this new Kickstarter? Very good question. The answer is yes. We will create a backer only update tonight with a screener link for all backers. Okay, so that's probably the top secret one. So if I become a backer for a dollar. I might, uh, I might be able to get that. And I'll see if I can exploit that uh, 
and, and pledge a dollar to become a backer to get access to that. Let's find out. So I want to look at the original campaign here. $10, you get a download of the film. So that's a good deal uh, and reasonable. I want to see where the chiptune story comes in here. Welcome to our this plus the chiptune story creating this. So that was always part of it. Doesn't look like it was added anytime soon. Just kind of looking through this, nostalgic look at the film. Stretch goals, unlocked every single backer we'll get. Inside story audiobook download, okay. Unlocked, so this is the extra film. Uh, unlocked 35,000 pounds, the double Blu-ray extra documentary, the chiptune story. So they basically, it was a stretch goal, which is why they're now offering in the 150 pages. Here's our other film, Devoid, that is just showcasing that there for some reason, I'm not sure. So unlock 27,500 documentary now be shot in 4K with all downloads upgraded to 4K. So that's cool. Special features. So like the fact that I have to go here to find out about the special features when this is the live campaign, like they should have really just, even if they just repaste the, the, the stuff from the first one to talk about what's going on there, I think they, they could have saved me a lot of time and a lot of hunting. Now, Let's take a look at something here. This There's a pre-order button up here. And if I click that, I actually go to this website. I have it preloaded. And it has everything here. So the, the Blu-ray, the discs, all this stuff. So digital download of the film, 10 bucks, and I get both films. And there's 102 backers of this. So I can buy this right now. So if I go to the current live campaign, this is the current live campaign. So for 10 bucks, I can't get the download of the films at all. That really bothers me that if I do a little bit of hunting that I can get the films for cheaper than you're offering. And I understand that you're uh, adding the ebook here for five for five extra pounds. Um, but maybe I just want the films as a digital download and you're not offering. Instead, you're offering this. At least make it a second option uh, for that to happen. So not I, I, if I'm going to do anything, I'm probably just going to do this. So you would lose money and you'd lose me as a backer, which would help you get to your goal. Digital download of the ebook, 10 bucks. So they're basically saying if you want them separately, it's 20 bucks. And maybe if you do them together, it's, you know, 15 here. So save, save some money. Uh, this is at least in line, 15 download of the, of the films and the ebook. So that's good. Blu-ray and digital download of the film. Blu-ray disc of the Commodore film and the chiptune story Blu-ray, including behind the scenes and extra footage and downloads of them for 25 pounds. Okay, so... I'm not sure that this is on point. This one might be a big kind of gotcha where they mess up. So 25 pounds for the Blu-ray versions of both films and the downloads. Let's go over here. Where is that Blu-ray level? Where is that Blu-ray level? Okay, they are at 25 pounds here. I was worried they were at 35 or something like that, but I think I was just messing up the different currency here. So that, they passed the test there. Okay, printed book and ebook. So they definitely have some more options here that aren't, on the other side, digital download of the film with a t-shirt, t-shirt two. Okay, so this isn't as suspicious as I may have thought. The, the biggest thing I think they're guilty of, despite having a ton of buying options without really seeing any visuals on this website that looks as archaic as the Commodore is, or all the visuals are up top, they should pair them next to the rewards so people can see them. The only thing I think they're really guilty of is not offering this $10 digital download of the film uh, up here for both films that that's I think that's what they should do it's 13 bucks uh, I don't know what they're losing on that they should make that a priority let's take a look let's go back to the campaign here for a second let's take a look at uh, kick track so here we are like I said about 80% of the goal they're trending towards 15 5 let's see if we have enough information to really show us where we are. this is the funding curve it's pretty natural and that's great jump over the daily data they don't have any tags I should mention uh, and they only had one update, but they didn't have any press. So on day one, it looks like they did uh, 878 or 678, and then, yeah, 878, and then uh, 657, and then 320, and in terms of backers, 34, 26, 12. It's a low day here, so that's probably a weekend. Now, it's pretty early on in this campaign to see where they might um, uh, sit at the end. Uh, let's look at the projection. On the, on the low end, they're at 10.4. On the high end, they're at 22. And these are in British sterling pounds, of course. I, I think it's probably going to go towards the low end, mainly because there's no reason for me to support this campaign because of their their website that they have to, to pre-order. I do like that they have this here. You can message Steve uh, and get any questions you want. 
but I don't know why this campaign exists. That's my biggest problem with this. You know, Kickstarter is not a storefront, and at no other than bringing two new rewards to you. I don't understand why this campaign needs to exist. So these two new rewards um, are, is basically the the DVD release uh, and the bonus DVD release in the in the trump card film. So did they not have a DVD release over here? Digital, 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 cassette, T-shirt. There's a Blu-ray. Okay, so they didn't have a DVD. They just had digital stuff. So I guess so they're bringing the trump cards and and the DVDs, but like, what's the point of having the campaign if you're just gonna offer them over here, right? Or are they? And if they're not, why are they not offering them on their page? Yeah, so I don't see the trump cards or the DVDs. They're just, just the Blu-ray. So I'm really confused just about the marketing of that. Okay, so the campaign is justified because now you have a DVD option instead of a Blu-ray. Okay, so maybe not everybody has a Blu-ray player or once the blu-ray version sure i'll i guess i'll get it and the the trump cards as well but i don't feel that just those two things want a different version of the film uh justifies another campaign that's like saying now i'm going to offer the film in 720p uh and instead of even though i originally offered it in 1080 or 4k because it's you know because now i can because people ask for it i don't think it really justifies that I have a hard time like getting behind this campaign. Uh, I don't know anything about these cards, so I can't tell you if it's worthwhile. Ultimately, both of these things can be on this website. I don't know why they're not listed here other than to make this campaign exist. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't love it. And I think the biggest thing is this, this campaign, as we saw... I'll see if I can scratch to the end here. It's going to be on Netflix and Amazon. And I'm a subscriber to both of those, which means if I was just going to be a digital download backer, which is kind of where I'm at right now, whether I get them from here with the ebook, which I'm not really interested in reading, or I pledge 10 bucks here, I, I can just watch these for something that I'm already paying for per month. So having this here, while it touts the... Uh, maybe size of your campaign or, or, or not campaign of your film, like the success story of it. I don't think it helps my buying decision because I'll just wait. I can wait for this film. I'm not that excited. Now, there, I'm sure there are other people that are super huge fans. And like I said, I like technological history, but I can wait for this. So uh, whether I like it or not doesn't make it backed or busted. That's a personal preference. And sometimes that'll sway me over, over the fence one side or the other. But the biggest thing is I don't know why this campaign exists. Uh, when we're talking about Blu-rays here, that shouldn't be in it if we're just pushing the DVD and the trump cards. Having the two different, uh, the new format and the extra prop from the film, so to speak, as a reason for doing it, I, I can't get behind. I, I officially have to declare this campaign busted. I just don't see enough reason for it to exist. I'm glad there's 87 backers who missed it and they're super fun uh, or super excited about the fun that the documentary might be for them. I'm, I think it's really cool that there you get two films in one. Um, I'm just not convinced right now that this is for me or this campaign needs to exist. And when you're doing a crowdfunding uh, campaign, you really want to make sure it's something that's worthwhile that kind of fills a need or want it or is something that's cool. If this was pitched to me in terms of consulting, I'd say, no, you shouldn't do it. I don't think... Uh, I don't think it makes sense. I think there's better ways to handle the marketing of these two things, even though you know Kickstarter is uh, always a good way to get some attention in a universal platform like a storefront uh, for a 30-day storefront. But I just don't, I, I don't think it's a good idea, and uh, I just don't, I don't like the spirit of it. That's what it comes down to because they they've raised 80% of their goal. They're probably going to hit it. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I don't like the spirit of it. And there are campaigns I know like this that get reported. I have no interest in reporting this, but I don't like the spirit of what they're trying to do here. I don't think it's it's places on Kickstarter for people that are trying to do all or nothing kind of projects. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel. It's it's busted, like I said. Hey guys, I'm back, and I just wanted to take a look at one thing that I said I would do. And as I was editing the video, I realized I missed it, so I wanted to go back and see if it was possible. We uh, we looked at the comments here. 
Uh, and it said, uh, very good question. The answer is yes. We will create a backer only update tonight with the screener link for all backers. Do we get the screener download if this is if we back this new Kickstarter? Okay, so that's super interesting. So I thought, if I become a backer, am I going to get access to a screener of the film already? And as you can see up here, I'm a backer. I pledged uh, one pound, which is the bare minimum that you can do, which is a dollar forty-two. And if I go over to the updates, remember it said top secret private update, backers only. So if I click that. I'm taken to the update. It's for backers only. Hi to all you wonderful Commodore and Amiga backers. As promised, here's your chance to watch the screener we did just before Christmas. Again, many fixes and changes have been put into the final version. We are currently working on the chiptune story and changes to the book. Here is a, quote, top secret private update. Private link to the Commodore uh, screener pre-final release. So this is something that they uh, screened in uh, the, at this festival or this theater. And here's a link to it. So I have a link to the film for a dollar. Now, it's not the final film, but they're still giving this away and some behind-the-scenes stuff that took place. Private link to the UK premiere behind the scenes. This is right here. So for $1.42, I have access to the film right now. I don't have to wait until, what's the campaign say, for digital download of the film, March. I can just go to the updates. It's not going to be the final version, but for $1.42... I can watch a version of the film right now. So I'm going to let's, let's click on it and see what happens. So here we go. It's right here. It takes me right to a link so I can check it out. I can hit play and watch it. Uh, usually I don't like the bus campaigns that do this kind of stuff, but I think it's a really important lesson to learn that you don't, you don't do that kind of thing. You don't give away your product for free. I know it's going to be on Netflix and some people think that's free. And maybe um, because this default manager or this default make a pledge without supporting anything was at 10 pounds, they thought anybody would, that would do it would, you know, pledge for money. But I just kind of got around their big thing. And maybe they're like, well, this isn't the final film, so it doesn't matter. But that's a big mistake that I think these guys made that they should correct in a hurry in a massive, massive hurry. They'd be better off to do uh, unique screeners or just not do that at all, or at least do it at the end of the campaign. We'll make a private uh, link available at, at the end of 36 days, which would take us into March uh, from where we are recording. So just a little bit extra uh, digging that I did there. So if you want a copy of the Commodore story, now you know how to get it. Sorry, guys, you guys did it to yourself, and I apologize um, but I don't want anybody else to make the mistake that you did. So thanks for showing us what not to do, but I do hope you success. If you guys hit your goal, that's great too. Uh, and maybe make some more documentaries on, uh, the, the technological history of our world, but do a little bit better job of crowdfunding why your campaign exists and uh, what you can do differently better. If you have a project that you want me to take a look at, like we saw today with the Commodore story, which was sent my way, Hit me up at crowdfundingspectacular99 at gmail.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash backed or busted crowdfunding, or of course on Twitter at Rob McZob. I'd be happy to take a look at those projects for you, make them an episode, or help you with your project and make it truly amazing. Listen to the guy who's broken down a ton of campaigns and will continue to going forward in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.